Uh, this is Mark Lillydahl. This is his T2C 154. Now, I don't know if you know, but uh, Mark has had stomach cancer and he had operations to remove his stomach. And, uh, you know, he's, he's uh, lost a lot of weight. Um, so I am going to sell his glider for him. Now, he'll, he'll explain this um, to you in his own words during the video. But I just want to say, first of all, the thing I noticed first of all first off is the bag is pristine it's brand new i mean completely unfaded just spectacular like it's never been used um and so mark is is kind of a funny guy he never he never used his uh his carbon uh base bar because he likes to have this straight aluminum bar it's just his thing so this bar is completely it's brand new and these things go for like 11 or 1200 dollars look it's got the serial number here 11 or 1200 dollars new so i mean it's pristine it's never been used it's a freaking pristine bar that is freaking awesome he's never put it on the glider he says Hey, I'm Mark Lillydahl, and I was just throwing a little footnote in here on the sale of my T2C 154. Uh, things you wouldn't see unless someone told you, but uh, uh, the glider I'm selling uh, has a carbon base tube that's only been on the ground for one flight at the factory. It's got a shiny bottom. It's brand new. And uh, the glider has all original parts. Nothing has ever been bent. Ex uh, the only thing I've ever replaced on the glider is the bottom side wires for maintenance. Um, the glider has never touched the nose plates to the ground. You can see that on evidence on the bottom side of the nose fairing. Um, a couple more things that are special about this glider is um, it's always had a UV bag on the glider during transport. So it's never had any UV coming through the bag. Uh, while transporting it and also um, I've always uh, when I set up the glider I always set it up in the shade I park it in the shade um, it's got very low UV life it's either in the air or in the shade and the sail is in very good condition it's got uh, several speed ribs in it and there's one other thing about the glider that's exceptional uh, is that it's never been dove to ridiculous speeds with more than a three-quarter VG setting. And what that means is, um, I've had three T2s and it took me a while to learn, but uh, at full VG, if you hammer the, the speed limit on it and get it going real fast, you can make these gliders flutter over time. Um, you have to go really fast with full VG and it takes a year, but uh, this glider has never gone uh, too fast with too much VG. It's never fluttered. It's absolutely tight. It's a tight birdie and I, I hope whoever gets this glider enjoys it as much as I, I have. And uh, the best way I can describe it is uh, my T2 just wants to go up, 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 up. It's got sink rate. It climbs, it climbs, it climbs. It's amazing. And I love the glider. It's just too bad. Uh, I don't have the body weight to even think of flying it again. It has no value to me. And I hope somebody really enjoys it and realizes what they get. Okay, man. That's my footnote. Hope somebody enjoys it. Good luck.